Welcome back. Satisfactory. So glad you're here. All right. So we've got a bit of a project ahead of us here. We're going to try to be efficient. One thing we know that we're going to use this full cube. And how high we're Oh, there's plenty of height. All right. So we're going to make a constructor blueprint here that's going to allow us to make 10 constructors per click while being stackable. And the reason for this is because we need to build 200 constructors for this build to be complete. Don't necessarily want to build 200 constructors by hand. Right. And this is going to be unusual because we're going to put the inputs and outputs up there. We're going to come inside. Same thing. And it's okay that this one's a different texture because we are going to do texturing later. So we're going to start on this side, back on this side, all right? Now, one of the things we know we want to do when we start in on this side, we want to bring in our resources, in this case, copper ingots. We want to bring them in as close as we can, maybe without causing a train wreck on the connector there. Drop the straight in. It's relatively close. And then we're gonna... I love floor hole splitters, but they are bugged to the point where I'm gonna try to avoid them. Alright, so now... We want to start building constructors. Now, we want to have 10 constructors per blueprint. So that way, when we want to build 50 of them, we just click five times, boom, and boom. And we want to click 50 of them again. It's easier as opposed to having six and then worrying about whether or not 10 per level. That's what we're going to do. Production, production. Here, we're going to do our best to I and mean, this is going to have to be a, a tight loop I think we'll put it on the big line something like that other reason is these constructors have this moving part and it waggles and wiggles through walls if you let it so that's another good reason just to have a few of these not try to put them right against the wall but if you don't mind moving clip then really pack them in all right for each one of these we're gonna build a splitter we don't need a splitter on this last one so we're gonna save ourselves a little bit of resources Connect that one directly. And then to start, these are all going to be wire. Our first one will be wire. Second one will be cable. Not clip through the wall. It's good. All right, so now that input comes in, drops down, goes around, and next to those three, they're going to have to output. But before we deal with that, let's put in two more constructors. Let's make 
is complete. Now you can see why we went high on the input, right? Now we can put these in, save ourselves a little space. By going vertically, we saved our, uh, we saved ourselves some space. Horizontally, I suppose. Put that there, put that there. And we want to split twice on this one. Pull it in and split it. And we gotta get some new stuff in and around the corner here. I think what I'll do is I'll just split this down. These will fill up relatively quickly. Okay, the copper ingot comes in here. It's these two. Make this a wire recipe. Then, we've got the results. Perfectly facing each other. We're going to merge the down the line. Everybody get some. It's close, but. That sound means it's connected. Then, yeah, I think one more merger here. Then we can take the results of all five machines and send it on its way. Right down the middle. Bring that down. And there you go. Five machines physically connected. Can't really see it from there. Let's angle. There you go. Five machines nicely connected. No issues really. Playing it through in my head just to make sure I'm not missing anything. Input comes in here, drops down, feeds these three. The other half comes in here. Two. The output of all five machines goes onto this line, goes back up, goes in, and gets kicked out. You know, it's kind of funny. If I put this right here, no, not worth it. We're going to keep going the way we're going. This comes in. The results get kicked out. When this gets built up here, 
The results get kicked out. This gets pulled into the next level. So yeah, I'm going to have to build this again, but in the opposite direction. Let's give ourselves one line of room. Then we'll build the foundation. We're going to go with just good old fashioned. Floor. As is our tradition. Let's see, this is going to go in to the other side. This is just the input. This is the output, and that'll come down to the ground. Okay, so we need a place for power. Power doesn't have to be right here. But I suppose it will be. Side of here, we've got five machines to connect. There's our power supply. Here's what we'll do. We can jump up here. Put in another double wall outlet. Oh, we need a little bit of wire. Luckily, we have our extra blueprint industrial storage container. Let's do another wall outlet mark two. We'll put it right here. We'll connect the power here. Free. There. All five of those are ready to go. They've got their inputs, they've got their outputs, they've got power. I'm thinking, can I build this blueprint on top of this blueprint? We've got four walls up to I theoretically have room. I would just have to alter the belts. So instead of it would come in on this side. Connect and drop down. Everything gets fed. Connect, drop down. Everything gets fed. It seems like all I would have to do to do this would be to rebuild these belts. I think it's worth it. I think it's worth it. These things don't care. If I took out the connector, put the connector back in, I might take the connector's lifts out as well. Let's try it. What we'll do is we'll call this wire single deck. 
five X. Grab the wire. Save it. Okay. Then we'll go back up. We might as well the high side here. We're going to use this blueprint. It's part of this effort. This is right. It's gonna be a nightmare to delete. Building. All right. Very nice. But then. But right now, this belt is going in this direction. We need to change that direction. We also need to try not to fall down to the bottom floor, but... You know. Some things happen and other things just... Alright, second try. So on the bottom floor, this is going from this wall to this wall and dropping things off and getting blah, 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 blah. Now we need to reverse it because on the bottom floor, we want the materials to go up. But then on this floor, we want them to go back. And then when we build this whole thing again above, we want the materials to go up and then this way again. So we've got to reverse the direction of this belt. And this belt. And we'll take out the lifts. It's just safer. Okay, so here we want to go from this. Well, let's build this outer one first. We want to go. out this direction. Now, the bottom floor, the inputs come in here. They go out here. On this floor, on the bottom floor, the inputs go this way. So they have to go this way so they can be connected. This way they go that make me connected. Put in a splitter. Splitter for supply. Merger for merchandise. Split. I believe we did two splits on this side. Yeah, probably easier just to rebuild the belt. said splitter for supply and I still built a merc. Okay, that gets sent in here. Ooh, we've got a missing spot here. We are going to do everything in our power to remember to put that in. 
And this, we want to bring down the supply. Bring down the supply here. There. So that's supplied in. Then we need to merge out. We had a little missing area over here. Got that. Okay. Let's power this up like this. And I think we are done. That gives us 10. Awesome mergers, uh, constructors. Let's take a moment here. I'm gonna take out all these walls. And I wanna start doing a little bit of a little bit of deco, if can. Let's do that. Put in eight foot ramp. Eight foot ramp. We'll just connect the center piece. Concrete wall. As you know, that looks really official. This side will invert it. I think we're okay just to glass the rest of these off. Oh boy, we need silica. See if we have. I don't know if I have silica in my local storage. One second, let me go grab some silica. All right. 
We are back with our silica in hand. Some aggressive Z fighting going. On. Why is it okay here, but not okay here? So weird. All right, I think we'll cut back on this line a little. We'll just have one side be angled. Now that Z fighting is just too much. We'll just, we're gonna have to take that out. The center wall set to concrete. Get the target is way more than. All right, that's a done blueprint. And that's a 2x deck, 10x. It's a clear. And then 
gotta build 60 refineries. This is gonna be more of a convenient, convenience build. All right, what we're gonna do is we're gonna give ourselves a nice, healthy foundation. Refineries are really quite large. Oh, look at that. Even putting the foundation. Holy moly. Let's try that again, but with a shorter foundation. Right with the two. I want to put the foundation down just so we have a, well, a solid foundation. All right, that'll work. These are obviously going to be outside buildings. Not going to tower the or make them stackable. only build one side of it. If we put this right in the middle, though, we could build both sides of it. Let's do that. And we're just going to have to see how many of these will fit. Three. The answer is three. We're outputting... And we're inputting... So we're outputting both, it's the thing. No, we're outputting copper ingots, but we need to input water and let's see if we can Let's merge this down. Maybe we'll make some adjustments to the placement. here is that by putting these refineries right on the edge I can find the edge holy moly let's get some height let's get some more height than that 
it may be a little more permanent. Thank you. Purge the merchandise. a little bit more room to get everything going on this side. I don't think I've had any issues with four pipes. Together stackable. Right. So when we're done on this side, it'll connect to the next side. Put you right here. This one we're gonna have to put close. Run this down. Like that. Then we'll split iron ore. Sorry, copper ore into each refinery. This, we're gonna have to build this recipe. 20, oh. What a bummer. What an absolute bummer. We're gonna have to build this recipe 20 times. I don't even know if we can get far enough away for this to work. That's max distance right there. I don't have to do this at height. I just think it's things are a lot more accessible when they have some height to them. True. Copper ingot. 
and by using the refinery on this dramatically increases the total amount of copper that we're going to have access to okay so that's pretty straightforward um we could add a little power simplifier Aaron, that's oh wait hmm. we're gonna have to have two of these to connect in and out so that way this one has room has room for a, an external connection and this one over here has room to have an external connection basically to this one but on the other side it's trippy, but that's what we want. Alright. And then this is the output side. Everything running that way. Hmm. I think we'll have to just build one and... I think I've ran this... everything goes down this way. I do want it to be opposite directions because we want to receive typically where we give. This is here, copper, binary. Select that icon to coppery, I would think. We'll say times three. Save that. All right, and then we're going to clear that. We're going to load the wire double decker. And we're going to call this cable double decker. Select that. I guess I can just search for cable. And save that. But for that to be really helpful, we have to go in here and set all these to cable. Copy, paste, first five. Look at that. It says it's pasted, but it's still not able. Able. Copy. Paste. I have to be sure. Once you start using blueprints, you have to be double sure. Yeah, all of these, none of these copied. That hurt. Goodness.
Cable. Done. All right. Now, let's check our build requirements to build what we want to build. We want cable times five. Yep, cable times five, because each one represents 10. We want 50 of those. And then we want copper double deck, copper wire double deck, or just wire double deck. 15 time and then we want the refinery realizing that I did save the refinery Hmm. A little mistake on my part. Hold on one second. I'm going to rebuild that and then I'll come back. I'll build the exact same thing that I've already shown you. Just somehow I didn't save it. Be right back. Sorry, it's right there in front of me. Pure copper ingot refinery. We want six of these. I was willing to rebuild it for you, though. Just know that. I was going to do it. All right, so significant build list there. Um, I'm going to run these ingredients to our construction site, and then you'll rejoin me. There's our construction site right there. You'll rejoin me as I uh, as we're ready to start building. Be right back. And we're back. All right. So here are our two copper nodes question. So we're going to line both of those. Get started. Now, obviously, my inventory, I don't know if anybody's inventory is big enough to handle all this. We're going to have to do it. The very first thing we're going to do is we're going to pull up this rock, get it out of the way. Can't believe there's a little bit of rock left. Rid of that one too. Nice. Okay. Let's do a little bit of foundational. get in the zone here. We know exactly which grid we're working with. Yeah, our inventory is going to be absolute mess. Maybe we should start on this side. Hold on. Yeah, look at all these industrial storage containers I had to put down start this build. There's still a little room here. Try to pick this up. Yeah, it's going to murder our image. All right, we're going to build. I mean, we could drop some stuff and pick it up and do all that. But just to get going here, we're going to build this one. I'm going to get, let's see, foundation.
All right, that is good to go. There's a little bit of room in our inventory. I knew it. Let's drop the... I'll probably get away with this different way, but going it this way. All right. Now it's time to build... And we need to find just kind of a nice, a nice line to build on, right? That's not it because it's going around. We'll have to go up a level. And then when we look at this, the absolute max for hole is 900. We need two belts. some iron plates. We're going to split the that direction. Okay, right, and this is going to in. That it goes in, it goes up. This one we know is impure, so it's going to be very slow. Let's put a merger here as well. Both of these connect as two belts. And then we're gonna merge in one more time. With a little space. This is going to come down.
Let's see. This comes down. I see. Oop, wasted one. This should be a merger. This should be splitter. Yeah. We want it to come in on this side. So it's going to come out of the miner in here. It's going to drop down. Out of the miner. So this needs to be a merger or a splitter. Out of the miner. Into the splitter. The splitter is going to come down into another splitter. Which is going to split the result of that into the secondary line. And the, reset, the rest of it is going to come into this primary line. So this miner is basically helping out with this line. One or two more to get there. Let's turn you around. We need to be on a different default item. Minor Mark II. Let's turn you this way. And then I'm going to vote to immediately lift. Turn and burn. Direct. Grab some wire so I can make our connection. And they typically do the power connection thing early so I can make sure that uh, things are working as I go. connection. One or two really long wires, I think. Then we're going to lift this up. Put 
Let's do this temporarily. Let's presume that's enough space for us. So, looks like everything is starting off correctly. Vertical here. And we're going to give us a little bit of a ladder. Let's go with um, some end foundation. Organization. Just a little bit of good stuff. Stored and ready to go. I should probably make one of these a smart splitter, but now it's working, right? This side's not slowing down, and once this gets backlog gets supplied. Oh, there we go. Let's take a look at it now. Yeah, see the impure man. Whew. Generates so little ore. Okay, we've confirmed that's working. Now to refine. Well, let's think for a minute. I might want to refine a little bit further down the road. Let's see what the refinery blueprint looks like. This is the side I want. It's got the good stuff on it.
Oh, I'm gonna have to connect this from below. I'm also gonna have to pick up some motors. And we need to build five water extractors. Okay. Let's start with the water extractors. Let's get that out of the way. Matter of fact, we're gonna edit our to-do list to zero out this right here. Yeah, that's not exactly right. Let's clear the list and then go to production, water extractor five. There we go. Five water extractors shouldn't be too terribly difficult. Assuming this is deep enough, which is not a guarantee. You are so lucky that you found this most valuable artifact. Not now. and mayhem. World President urges all citizens to do their part and harvest alien artifacts. I guess I should stay on the world grid as much as possible. Present a slug and two disgusting firefly hatcheries. I strongly advise you to harvest this specimen. This is gonna hurt. If I knew where it was, I might consider it, but since I don't even know where I'm looking for, I'm not even gonna bother. It's just gonna be super relaying message. Annoying. Hello, this is paternal figure. I have taken ill and need your help to find a cure. Doctors say that the only remedy is alien artifacts. Water, in fact, is not deep enough. Oh, look at that. There is a hard drive over here. Have I already gotten this one? I have. Okay. Water is 600 on this. I. I could get away with one pipe. Picking up multiple fixed personnel in the area. Proceed with harvest before it's too late. But I'm already dealing with 500. Well, five of these, no, 600 exactly. And I don't have the high, high end pipe right now. So we're just gonna make this two pipes. Do I have a toolbar just for water? I do. Highly recommend, by the way. Harvest. Thankfully, I don't need this.
We'll just go as far down as we can. Well, the question is, how far can the pipe go? Almost, but no cigar. I strongly advise you to harvest this specimen. I'd take a directional indicator as far as where it is. If you really wanted me to get it. Junction this, this, and like this. So that's three. It might make sense to come back and upgrade these pipes, but. Right now, we are set. Uh, hold on. Yeah, one, two. Technically, that is more than this pipe can handle. do is let's see the bottom pipe has three things connected to it comply we'll make this first one a double connection for you That's going in. And then we also want... I can connect pipes like this. So that goes up and it's split. I don't need this anymore. Right, so this goes up and gets split. And it's on both. And then this one goes only to the top. Your contract legally compels you to harvest this artifact. I think that puts us at... Of the five... Two connected at the top. Harvest. Two connected at the bottom. And one connected to both. That sets us up there. We need some power. Yeah, I should probably bring the power up.
I think every single one of those was a clip. All right, so now we're talking about running the water somewhere in this area. Maybe before, maybe after. Don't know. But somewhere in here. Now, we need... 20 of these. And we're gonna have to do some shopping here. Oh, wow. For a deadlock. I have to drop some stuff I know I don't need right now. Just to fit the concrete. And then the engines are terrible. They don't stack very well. get a little bit of everything, get one of them built, and then come back and build the rest. The good news is, you know, one click and things come flying out of our inventory, so it's easier to build the rest. But you want to make sure you have at least enough to get that first click out. might have to make a couple of runs for more stuff. Crazy. Crazy the size of these builds. Okay. We need 20 of them. I'm gonna just try to start by getting one of them placed. the two meter oh wait here we go here we go here we go let me take out one of the sorry for your immersion on that floating crate um Two meter foundation in right here just so it snaps a little easy
Oh my god. It's like getting so close and then it's failing. Alright, again here. Hopefully having this full... Run around to this corner. What is it snapping to? Is the question. I could just give up and ramp the. That's what I'm gonna do. I gotta tell you, the snapping on blueprints. When you're on blueprint or blueprint, it's beautiful. When you're trying to snap into anything else, it is a fiddly mess. There we go. That's the input side right there. Output side. Input side, but that is going away. Let's go up there and just check our work before we go crazy trying to build the other 19 of those. Problem is, 20 of those is going to take us way down the road here. Maybe that's okay. It is, actually. Set the mode to blueprint. soon. What do you think? Should we put in a mirrored side? We still have five more to go, if, even if we do that. There's these motors.
Oh, yeah, if we mirror it, that's going to be a nightmare. No, for now. We're going to build the world's longest refinery chain. Until we hit a wall. Which looks like we won't hit. I hear you hissing, but I don't see you. Not gonna worry. Now I hear somebody chasing me. Ran out of copper sheets. Eight more to go. That's gonna be a heck of a build to make that fully supported. Ooh. We need to make sure we're not causing any major issues with water as well. Close in a few areas, but it looks like it's going to be okay. I brought sufficient. I think I brought sufficient uh, copper sheets with me. Yeah. Maybe not, though. One motor in here. There's copper sheets. I need some encased industrial beams. Where are those beams? There they are. Ooh, I don't want that many. Let's find those motors. All right, give me a second here. I'm going to run around and collect the last little bit of these things. I didn't bring out enough motors, so I'm going to quit pause. I'm going to be right back. And we are back. I'm going to have to do a little Army Corps of Engineering here to have sufficient places to actually continue building this.
Okay. That's not nearly enough, but... Let's build a few more and see how many more we need. Auto saving. Six more. have to be like a uh, Avengers headquarters here built on a cliff Done probably in the most ridiculous fashion possible. We will have to come back and make all of this fully supported, but for now, we have all this in place, ready to go. I'm going to have to make this a part one. We're already at 94 minutes and we're going to be at probably, I mean, it's going to be a ridiculous. I'm probably going to have to build a bridge. Probably going to have to build a bridge back to collect all this stuff. Right, because the refinery is going to generate over 2,000 ingots at full speed. Yes, we're making this a part one. The start of part two will connect the water, will connect The ore, we're saving up a good amount of ore here. We're gonna have to make our water tower. Get the water over here, pump it up, and then distribute it. Maybe we put the water on this side. Luckily, this recipe doesn't require a ton of water. I mean, obviously, the water requirements are quite low. But now that we've done all that, let's double check. Yeah, 10 water per minute on 60 buildings is 600. 120 per minute on the water extractors times five is 600. So we have it all directly ratioed. It's gonna be something else to get all of these in place. Yeah, 
we're gonna have to put some infrastructure in to even make that build possible uh, so what we'll do is we'll bring in the water we'll bring up a nice healthy water tower we'll connect this all the way down and then connect it back like that 60 times And then we'll have all of our iron ingots, and then it will just be building a city of 200 constructors. 150 for wire and 50 for cable. So then get 1,500 wire and 1,500 cable per minute. So yeah, this is a bit of an odyssey. We're going to call this, we're going to call this part one, and then we'll complete part two and maybe even part three in a future video. But those are all interesting problems for future videos. But right now, thanks for hanging out. I do appreciate it, and we'll see you next time.